ASP.NET Core 3 introduced some changes to the way we configure routing. Uh, let's mash on that. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the ASP.NET Monsters. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at how routing or routing works in a new ASP.NET Core application. I usually save my routing for sports scenarios. For the uh, home team. Okay, because I normally save my routing for woodworking class. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a hard As always, as always <laughs> we struggle with the pronunciation of things. <laughs> so just as a review, I'm going to pull over an app here that is ASP.NET Core 2.2 and is using MVC. So in configure services here, we have add MVC and then down in configure where we configure our pipeline. Uh, down at the bottom, we have some, we have use MVC and in there we tell it routes.map routes and we give it our default routing template. So that use MVC thing took in something called an iRoute builder. And so this and, is just a helper method that allows you to kind of pass in some configuration. Yeah. And you can add as many routes as you need to, or where things get got a little bit confusing or disjointed, I suppose, is let's say that I wanted to use SignalR now, and now I wanted to configure the routes for SignalR because there's those hubs that I need to map. Um, then it, this takes out takes in a something called an, a hub route builder, which is like a different thing for doing routes. And then here I tell it to map my hubs. And then if I was doing razor pages, again, it would be another place where I would do that. So it was just a little bit disjointed the way that that's set up. And the change with ASP.NET Core 3, I'm going to start by just creating a new, new empty web project here just to see what the changes look like. Make sure I actually select ASP.NET Core 3 here. I feel like you're mentioning that from like some experience that you've had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely not something that was edited out of the screencast. OK, so now when we look at startup, under configure services, there's nothing there. There's no MVC configured or anything. And this is the, the change that we see here. So the, one of the things that you'll see in an ASP.NET Core 3.0 app is when we're configuring the, the pipe, our pipeline here, we tell it to use routing. And that configures the endpoint routing middleware. And then following that, you're going to see app.use endpoints. Now, if you're doing things like, if you need to do things like cores or authentication, you would configure that in between these two calls. So in between the call to use routing and use endpoints, you're going to set up authorization, authentication, and cores and anything else, any security related things to do with your, your pipeline. Uh, but the interesting thing to me here is now that uh, down here where we say use endpoints, this is where we configure our routes. So here, uh, the thing that, that we configure it based on is a I endpoint route builder, which is now common for all the different types of routes. And there's some new ones on here, like map get, which is just like the very simplest possible thing you can do to, to process a, a request that comes in. I can just tell it when I get a route that is just the, the root route, the root route. <laughs> the, the empty route, uh, I want to call this function here where it passes in an HTTP context. And then I can just write out a response. So this is this is like hello world, no, no MVC, uh, simplest possible amount of code that we can write to process a, an HTTP request in ASP.NET Core. Uh, now, if we did want to start using things like MVC in here, uh, we would need to con configure that in our services. But from a routing perspective, it would just be a matter of saying endpoints dot map controllers. And then that picks up by convention. And that picks up by convention. It'll register a default route for you. And then you can do things like area controllers and all those things that we're used to being able to do. Uh, but you can also do things like map my signal R hub. So I can say map hub. And I can give it the hub that I'm mapping. You also see things for, from Blazor there. So the Blazor hub, if you're doing server side Blazor. And uh, endpoints dot map razor pages. So what I like about this is that all of my routing ends up happening in in a in a single place, right? Because the order that you register these matters uh, because it's going to pick the first route that matches based on what you've given it. Um, so mapping my 
map get here before my map controllers would be important because now there's no default route in here that's going to end up getting picked up. And I, I didn't actually run into it too often, but there are cases where you've got different types that you might yeah. want to have a greedy route eat something up before it gets somewhere else. And this allows you a little bit finer control because it's yeah. the cross type um, mapping, right? Yeah. And so it's definitely more more obvious when you start mixing different programming models like Razor Pages and controllers and signal R and everything else, where you might end up with a collision in your route table. Having it all defined in one place here makes it a lot easier to makes it a lot more obvious what's happening, I suppose. So just a nice little change in an evolution to how um, our route tables get defined in ASP.NET Core. Uh, it's something that they've iterated on a few times, and I kind of like where it's landed. That's all, all right, I had for today. Uh, what we're going to look at in the next episode is kind of an extension to this this concept of the the basic endpoint routing and how we might use that to build microservices. Very cool. Awesome. Great. Well, thanks a lot for putting together this episode, Dave. Um, we'll see everybody on the next episode. Uh, until then, you can spend your time liking, subscribing, uh, republishing, and uh, what's that like a republish thing on MySpace? Anyway, whatever you would do on MySpace <laughs> to, to raise our popularity. <laughs> <laughs>